Yo guys, it's Cortez here, and today I'm going to be bringing you day two of tutorial week, and today I'm going to be showing you how to break just a certain part of an object or a text um, in Cinema 4D, because I've been getting a lot of requests for it. So what you're basically going to do is, I use Throwsy, I don't use Nitro Blast. So with Throwsy, this is at first going to come unchecked, it's going to have an X, and what you're going to want to do is check that and make sure that it's selected. And then you're going to come up here to MoGraph, go to Effector, and go to Random. And then under Random, you're going to go to Fall Off under the Options. And right here it's going to say Shape. And you can choose between all these shapes. What I did for that C that a lot of people are asking me how I did it, what I did for the C is I used Sphere. And what it's going to do is it's going to create this sphere that is basically going to be the area that it's going to place the random effector. So as I move this into it, it's going only going to affect the part that is in um, the area that the, sphere, that the sphere is. So you can play with this as much as you want. You can make the sphere smaller either way. Um, you can make the bigger one smaller and more oval shaped. It's all up to you. And you can also change this to whatever you want, like cone, um, cylinder, anything like that. So you're just basically going to take the shape that you want and use it to make, to and place it where you want the crack. And it's only going to place it there. So then if I render that out, it doesn't have any materials or anything, but let's just render that out so you guys can see how it looks. See, it comes out really nice. Um, looks makes it look really nice. I probably would have made those cracks smaller, <clears throat> so I probably would have made the piece more pieces. I think it would have looked better with smaller pieces. But yeah, anyways, that's the basic for that tutorial. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to be able to check out the rest of my tutorials and my great speed arts. And stay tuned for tomorrow's tutorial for day three. And I'll see you guys later.